Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk and Truth Radio Podcast. With your encouraging word for today, we are still dealing with biblical manhood. And today's message is not going to be brought to you by me, but you're going to hear from the great Dr. Tony Evans in his beginning of his sermon about biblical manhood and alignment. So please stay tuned and listen to Pastor Dr. Tony Evans talking about the alignment of biblical manhood. You can listen to his full sermon by going to the description below and clicking on the link. Thank you, be blessed, and always be encouraged. Be at peace, and remember, walk in truth. There were some other issues. My tires were not wearing evenly, nor were they wearing appropriately. The wearing of my tires was a problem. He says, your car is not aligned properly, and it's showing up in how your tires are being worn. He said, even if we replace your tires, if you do not fix the alignment, you will mess up something new. And because things were not aligned properly, there was unnecessary wear and tear on that which I was counting on to get me from point A to point B. When we look around today in our world, there is a lot of wear and tear. There is a lot of wear and tear on women who are being misused and abused and uh, negatively impacted and affected. There is a lot of wear and tear on children who also are being neglected and abused, walked away from, forgotten. And one of the issues is how do we resolve the social crisis that we are facing that shows up in so many of these lives and in the lives of so many of these people throughout our nation and, of course, our world. One of the major causes of this crisis that we're facing today is an alignment problem, and that is... Men not living up to the real definition of manhood. In other words, many of the problems that exist down here, certainly not all, and certainly this is not true of all men. So if what I say to you today doesn't apply to you, don't get upset. Just say it doesn't apply to me. Much of, not all of, but much of what we are travailing with culturally today has to do with Many men being out of alignment and the wear and tear is showing up everywhere else. And until the alignment is fixed, the wear and tear will continue to be perpetuated. What does it mean to be a man? One of the ways you know that a culture is in trouble is when men become hard to find. God said in Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 that judgment was upon the land because the children were running the adults and the women were running the men. That inversion was really reflective of a judged culture because men were hard to find. In fact, God says in one place, he says, I searched for a man who would stand in the gap. So that I would not have to judge the land and I found none. As we define biblical manhood for you, any other definition that you have that disagrees with this definition is wrong. And it is only as we align ourselves, get an alignment, to God's prescription and definition of manhood will we begin to see things that are so worn out because we were out of alignment begin to function properly. Exodus chapter 34 verses 23 and 24. It says three times a year, God would call all the men of Israel to appear before the Lord God. The reason why all the males were called out is because They were the ones God held responsible. At the heart of graduating from malehood to boyhood to manhood 
is your ability and willingness to take divinely ordained responsibility as a man. In verse 23, he says, the Lord God. In verse 24, he says, the Lord, your God. He does not say all the males appear before God. I want you to appear before the Lord, your God. When the word Lord is added to God, he wants to say something specific about God. Let me say it another way. Three times a year, your men are to appear before the sovereign God. What makes a man a biblical man is his willingness to come under divine authority to place his maleness under divine authority. Hello, this is Pastor Jay. I'm excited to invite you to come over to listen to our broadcast on YouTube. Yes, Walk in True Christian Fellowship Church on YouTube. We have some great videos over there and you'll be able to listen to all the lessons and the podcast. So again, subscribe, like, and continue to comment and listen. This is Pastor Jay. Talk to you later. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to encourage and implore you to become a podcaster. In today's time, there's a lot of things to be said, and there's things on your mind that other people need to know. The best way to get your word out is to become a podcaster. And the secret to podcasting is becoming part of the Anchor team. Yes, become a podcaster on Anchor FM. All you have to do is download the application and walk through the prompts and you'll find yourself podcasting before you know it. And the greatest thing about Anchor podcasting, it is free. And guess what? You don't have to worry about distribution. They distribute it all over the planet through many different platforms. So all you have to do is be concerned about your content and they give you tools to mix your podcast with music and sound effects. So again, I encourage you today, go to Anchor and become a podcaster. Download the app and watch how simple it is. This is Pastor Jay signing off. Stay tuned to the show and always be encouraged, be blessed and be at peace. And remember, Walk in truth on Anchor Podcasting. Peace.